Hi, um, my Virgos, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your monthly spread for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Um, on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. I have uh, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, and lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm jamiezebra23. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. This is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay, so this is what we got going on. Okay. So a lot of you are going to be really, really upset. Um, some of you are going to be upset, but some of you are going to be really, really happy. I feel like some of you will be upset that somebody's going back to an ex. If you had a relationship with a fellow earth sign, so like earth on earth energy, so Virgo on Virgo, Capricorn and Virgo, Taurus and Virgo energy, it looks like you two are going to be getting back together in the month of April 2019. But I feel like it's sort of like an ultimatum here. Somebody wants someone to tell the truth. So it's like, I will take you back and we can live happily ever after. But only if you tell me everything you did and why you did it. I feel like somebody will only be able to give half of that. I mean, I guess that's smart, right? <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, if it's you that has to come clean, um... It's up to you what you want to say. Because if you really tell somebody that, okay, I, I did everybody, including your brother and your sister, and maybe they, they're going to change their mind. So there's just, so it's, maybe not tell everything. But I do feel like this person is, is basically telling you do the right thing and then we can get back together and live happily ever after. But I do see that there are conditions that maybe they're not explaining to you. Like, you know, if, if I find out you had sex with my friends, we can't be together. If I find out you're having sex with my mom and dad, no. Yeah, there's some, don't tell everything, okay? I also feel like, um, now moving forward, I do feel like there's two opportunities coming. You have two job offers. One job offer is going to be local, and another job offer is going to be a little bit further away. They're both good. But I feel like for some of you, you want to relocate anyway. So it's kind of like, oh, I'll kill two birds with one stone. You know, I'll get relocated for work. Great. Maybe maybe they'll cover the cost of this. Cool. And then for others of you, it's kind of like, I don't really want to work away from home because I've, I've got, you know, a wife or a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or kids or something like that that you want to be close to. So it's, it's going to be a difficult decision. But in the month of April 2019, you have opportunity after opportunity coming up. So when it comes to this... I feel like it's more than just an ex coming back. I feel like it's like, you know, the mother of your child or the father of your child or your husband or your wife that you're going to be reconciling with. It's not just some, you know, Joe Blow that you met on Craigslist for a one night stand. You know, this is like, you know, something significant. This is important. But understand this. If you do one little thing wrong, if this person's going to jump you, if you're not perfect, this person's going to dump you. Don't put your faith in this because um, you're not a robot. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. Everybody has a slip up here or there. You know, so if, if that's their ultimatum, you know, basically be a robot or else, you can't live up to that. So is it worth going back to this person? Just think about it first before you do it. Yeah. All right. So Virgo, I feel like you or somebody else when it comes to work or when it comes to a work project, somebody's going to feel a little bit stabbed in the back. I feel like somebody's got a bunch of treasures, like um, like diamonds and gold and jewelry and pretty things, like pretty trinkets and figurines that, like, that have like stones on them, all these beautiful things. Something that you would almost see like... Um, what you would imagine would be in like one of the tombs before they got raided. Like all the beautiful, beautiful treasures. 
I feel like somebody was supposed to split something with you and they took it all for themselves. Or they cut you out of a deal and you're, you're feeling stabbed in the back. I feel like eventually you'll get some of the money will trickle down, but the problem is, is that you did the deal, give me my money, and let's be done with it. I shouldn't have to beg you for what's mine. So if somebody has to go do a deal, meet somebody to get the money or whatever, go with them. Don't be like, oh no, I trust you, just come, just, you know, when you're done, just, just show up. No, 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 no. Go with them. Whether you're a man or a woman, go with them. Because I feel like it'll take, the money will take longer to get to you if you don't. You know, so stay involved. Um, I do see for those of you connected to Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, it looks like there will be some sort of a, some sort of upset, some sort of heartbreak. Uh, somebody's definitely going to feel blindsided, betrayed when it comes to money. So anything having to do, so like, let's say you were like, hey, I owe money to the IRS, so I'll let you claim my kids, you just give me my money. Or I'll give you, you know, I'll throw you a few dollars. They get all the money and they don't give you a penny. So you need to go with them and do these things. Make sure that there's, you know, protection, proof, good stuff. Because you don't want to get duped in April 2019. You don't want April Fool's Day to go the whole month. All right. Now, if this already happened to some of you and the person didn't give you your, the money, they're afraid of you going to the police or they're afraid of the retaliation, so they will now give you the money. If this already happened before April 1st of 2019... You will start, the money will appear around the end of April 2019. So if somebody like did something and you know they need to give you your money, it's coming. If you're cross watching and a Virgo owes you money, it looks like they're going to give you their money or give you, give you your money. Okay. So with the four of coins here, I do feel like somebody is going to attempt to try to block that. So they might tell you, okay, I'm going to give you the money on this date and they might still attempt to block it, but it looks for the most part, you're getting your money. Now, when it comes to, um, so apart from that earth sign, the one that we already talked about, that's uh, the fellow earth sign that wants to get back together, you got another earth sign that's coming. Towards the end of the month, you got a new Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person coming your way. This person will be very, very clingy. This person will not want to let go. It's kind of like they believe in love at first sight, which is great. I do too. Um, I feel like they... Um, it's like you have sex with them once or you go out to dinner with them once and they're just so enamored that they can't stop. They're texting you like crazy. They're calling you like crazy. Non-stop. Won't leave you alone. A little bit of a headache. So sometimes it's good to have like a Google Plus number or something like that to where, you know, in case you, you don't want these people <laughs> in your life anymore, you know, you can abruptly stop the communication without, without having to change your phone number or whatnot, you know. Because this person's going to definitely not want to let you go. So don't make promises that you can't keep. I also see that, um, that for a lot of you, there's water energy here too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like this could be a good relationship, but the person's got some growing up to do. Or you have some growing up to do. All right, my Virgos, have an amazing month. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.